Hello and welcome to this CG Cookie quick tip about the F2 add-on. My name is Kent Trammell and I for one have been anxious to incorporate this tool into my modeling workflow ever since it was first announced in January of this year, 2013. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I like to model by sculpting and retopologizing. This particular style of modeling requires a lot of face filling, which is accomplished by pressing the F key in edit mode, which I assume you're familiar with. Uh, the name of this add-on is very appropriate, I think, because it's like the sequel to the default F key fill operation, and it offers a much more efficient way to fill faces. Here in Blender 2.66a, the F2 add-on is included, so I will jump into my preferences in the add-ons section and type F2, and we can see we have mesh F2. We will enable that. And then I will jump into layer one. And let's take a look at our first example so I can show you just what the F2 add-on does bare bones. Here I have uh, just a plane, a subdivided plane that's, uh, that's missing some faces. And if I wanted to fill this, let's start up here. What I would do is um, alt click and select this boundary edge, deselect this other edge, control E and bridge to edge loops. Now that's pretty efficient. It's uh, not too many clicks but uh, your keystrokes aren't repetitious, so they're kind of disconnected and when compared to the F2 add-on, it's more complex. So let me undo that. And if I wanna fill this face with the F2 add-on, I'll select this edge, hit F, 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 F. Repeat the same key. That's only two keystrokes repeating the second one many times. So that is much more efficient. If I undo it and just repeat it like I would in a workflow, that's done in like a second and a half. So you can see that with edges, that's extremely efficient, but we also can use a single vertex as input. So down here, the way I would uh, accomplish the same thing I did up here is uh, probably control click and select these edges, hit E, Y, and snap it to this vertice and then fill that last face. So let me repeat that process and count my number of clicks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight clicks, some mouse clicks and some keystrokes. But again, that's eight things that aren't repetitious. Repetition of a few keystrokes is much more efficient and that's what we get with the F2 add-on. So let me undo that. And uh, now I can just select this one vertice, hit F. The next vertice, hit F and repeat this all the way down the line. And this um, gives me the exact same result. Uh, the new vertices that are added respect the vertex normals and line up. So because of this repetition, you can see that that is extremely quick. If I do it um, again without narrating, you can see that it's faster. And that's really the big advantage of the F2 add-on. But this add-on is really quite polished. So if I remove these vertices and also these faces up here, I want to show you how F2 will respect uh, the direction of your mouse. So if I have this edge filled, I can jump into edge mode. And then if I hover my cursor over to the right, press F, you can see it fills to the right. If I hover my mouse over to the left and hit F, it will fill to the left. And it works the same for single vertice input. So let's just do the same. So let me extrude a vertice out this way and uh, show you that Hovering to the left, we'll fill it to the left. Hovering to the right, we'll fill it to the right. That's a really nice user-friendly little addition and polish made to the add-on. And it also respects uh, face normals and materials. So if I jump to my second layer, you can see that I have the same geometry with some materials added to it, just a green and red material. These black faces are uh, reverse normals. So if we do the same thing, jump into edit mode, uh, grab an edge, and hit F, 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 F. You can see that the normals are respected um, kind of exactly how you would expect, but there's a little bit of discrepancy with the materials. I guess like I would expect this to be red just because um, all these faces around it are red, but that's with edge mode. So let's uh, delete the faces that I made, select one vertice, F, 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 F. The first one, it fills green and I'm not exactly sure why, but the others uh, behave properly. And I'm not pointing this out as being negative at all. I'm just showing that it's, it's a very nice add-on that's been polished to even think of doing this. So it's really compliments to the author. Um, I wanna show you another example over here. Uh, previously, I've just been working on flat planes uh, and it works perfectly for that. But I also wanna show you um, how well it works on an object that's not flat. So uh, I have some missing faces over here 
And the way I would fill it with F2 is select this vertice, hit F, F, and then maybe F again. And uh, you can see that the vertex normals of the new faces try and line up with the geometry around it. And that's really cool. You can see that it gets off over here, but I can just quickly um, merge that and then, you know, kind of move these into place. But, but that's really cool that it even tries to approximate that. Um, something that you'll uh, you want to keep an eye out for up here, have another example. Um, so if I want to go uh, this direction with my fill and press F, you can see that uh, the new vertice that's added is not merged with this one. So I kind of, having this vertice selected, I kind of expect these four vertices to be filled like that without having to click each vertice. But when we're not on a flat uh, plane, filling that with F will leave this gap. So that's kind of something to keep in mind as you use this. All right, so that's cool. That's uh, my, my examples for explaining how F2 works, but I wanna show you how F2 can be used in a real modeling session. So I'll tab back into object mode, jump to my fourth um, example, and I'm just going to quickly retopologize a portion of Suzanne's head. Uh, I need to set some things up. Let's change my pivot point to median point turn on my snapping with the magnet icon and then switch my snap element to face. Now I can select my little cyan plane down there, tab into edit mode, switch these two buttons, then delete my vertices. And then I can start drawing um, some, some edges up here. So let me, uh, well, some vertices rather. So we can see that it's passing through the mesh. If I come up to my clipping plane, I can change my start from 0.1 to 0.01 and that will uh, make our edges visible. All right, so if I was to retopologize this, I would continue this edge loop down like this, and then maybe curve it up back this way, like that. Whereas before, I would start selecting these vertices and fill it. I know a lot of people say, well, just use the bridge tool. And the reason I haven't done this in my previous workflow is because it's that whole idea of repetitious keystrokes. So even though I'm probably making more clicks technically, the fact that it's repetitious makes it um, easier and quicker for me. But anyway, after I would fill those uh, edges individually, I would then control right click marquee select and hit F to fill all the faces. That um, is sped up significantly now because I can just select my edge, hit F, 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 and that's done. So that is awesome. Now what if I wanted to use single vertex mode? Let me just extrude a face down this way, then select a corner vertice, hit F, another vertice, hit F, another vertice, hit F, another vertice, hit F. So that works, but you can see that it's kind of getting um, out of alignment and also it's not respecting uh, the snapping that I have turned on. So I would have to select um, that entire edge with Alt uh, click and then hit G to snap it to the surface. So that's not quite efficient. It's much more efficient just to um, right click and um, extrude new vertices, uh, grab that edge and just F, F, F all the way up. So this might not seem like a tremendous improvement initially or really that much of a difference. I know that that's what I thought when I first uh, saw the F2 add-on. But once you incorporate it into your workflow, you will notice um, your workflow starting to change. So if I was to kind of continue this workflow or the, this retopology, you know, typically I could just extrude out this way, extrude up to um, complete this junction right here, fill it and then continue on up. But with F2, I can, uh, instead of going to the left, I will just, you know, continue going right on up this way because I know that I can just F, 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 F. Uh, fill that whole thing right up and that's much more efficient and once your mind sort of adopts the F2 into your workflow You'll find yourself saving a ton of time. So that's the F2 add-on. I would encourage you to incorporate it into your uh, Personal workflow at the very least. It's a big improvement over the former version of fill faces Thank you for watching this quick tip